Hi, it's Ho Chi with TaiwaneseAmerican.org. I'm actually in sunny and hot Atlanta, Georgia, um, visiting the uh, Flying Biscuit Cafe. It's actually now owned by two Taiwanese American brothers, Joseph and Matthew Shao. They're um, here at the site. We're going to take a look inside. Come on and join me. We're going to go meet Joseph right now and find out a little bit about the history of the restaurant. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to the Flying Biscuit Cafe. I'm Joseph and I'm one of the owner operators for the Flying Biscuit Cafe here at Candler Park. We have currently 12 locations and this is the original location started since 1993. Over the years we've had thousands and thousands of people who flock to try our famous breakfast. We're an award-winning restaurant and we serve great breakfast and we also have a lunch and a dinner menu all day. So come by and check us out. We also have a bakery. We also have a cafe here. We serve excellent muffins and we're very well known for our flying biscuits. Jeffrey Dewberry. This one time I've been here for about seven years. I started here at this location um, and we've, we've just been serving up biscuits and love and lots of good things for so many years. Um, and a couple years ago they enticed me over to the restaurant um, so that we could, you know, I could be part of the management team so that we could bring love to everywhere. Delia, who started the restaurant, came to me one day and she said, a show called Hell's Kitchen wants to come in and they want a cast here in the restaurant. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, well, I want you to try out. And I'm like, well, I have to be in school that day because I was in culinary school. And she's like, no, you're either here or I'm going to fire you. You have to try out. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll try out. And so it, it just, by luck, they picked me and Delia gave me time off and I was able to go to L.A. And that part of it is just sort of history. Great restaurant, and now we've moved into another phase of it with Joseph coming on, and then with Matthew, and us just sort of taking it to the next level. I myself am very family oriented as well, coming from a Taiwanese heritage, Taiwanese background. Uh, I am Taiwanese American, and um, grew up in the business with my parents as well. They started the whole business and just kind of got into it. And passion's always been in the food service and hospitality industry. See, we enjoy what we do and we're the best at what we do. So check it out. So we're gonna visit the Flying Biscuit's second location here in Midtown, right off 10th and Piedmont. Joseph's brother, Matthew, manages this place. Let's go in and say hi to him as well. Hey dude. What's up, Luigi? How you How's it going? going? Good to see hey, you. Man, good to see you. <laughs> We're filming some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here right next to my brother, Matthew, who manages this location. This is an icon. Everybody that comes in here comes by to visit. Here about, Fly Biscuit Cafe. Right, here about the breakfast, you come by and visit us. We have a lot of very famous celebrities who come by and visit. We just had Amorosa this week who came by to visit. She is off of The Apprentice. We also have Sean Mullins, who's a famous, very famous song, songwriter, singer-songwriter, as well as Rob Zombie from the group White Zombie. We also have a lot of the other... Like the soul they come in, uh, Beastie Boys. Beastie like Boys. Now we're up here, and then Rachel Ray and Ellen DeGeneres, every time they're here in the Atlanta area, they always come by and visit the Caleb Park location. So you got to come by and check us out here in the area when you're here. Always come by and visit the Flying Biscuit Cafe, and don't forget to check out TaiwaneseAmerican.org.